Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, get ready for an exciting biblical journey. We've handpicked 23 thought-provoking questions to test your knowledge of the Holy Bible. Are you ready to prove just how well you know the scriptures? But hold on, before we delve into the quiz, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support aids us in spreading the teachings of God. Once you're done with the quiz, don't forget leave a comment below, sharing how many questions you got right. We're eager to engage with you and be part of your Bible exploration. So, are you ready to dive into this enlightening adventure? Let's get started. Question 1. What was Jacob's name changed to? A. Isaac B. Ismael C. Israel D. Ishbosheth you get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was Israel. Genesis chapter 32 verse 28. This change symbolizes a significant transformation in Jacob's life representing his struggle with God and humans. The name Israel means he struggles with God or God strives, reflecting the challenges and perseverance in Jacob's journey. Question two, who was the first king of Israel? A, David, B, Saul, C, Samuel, D, Solomon. You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was Saul. 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. Samuel the prophet anointed Saul with oil, signifying his selection as the first king of Israel. This event was a significant shift in Israel's governance, moving from a system of judges to a monarchy. Question 3. What was the name of Moses' brother? A. Jacob B. Aaron C. Samuel D. Gideon You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was Aaron. Exodus chapter 7 verse 1. Aaron played a vital role as Moses' spokesperson before Pharaoh and later became the first high priest of Israel. This sibling duo played key roles in leading the Israelites out of Egypt, showcasing a partnership that held spiritual leadership and familial significance in biblical history. Question 4. What was the sign of the covenant between Noah and God? A. A cross. B. A star. C. A rainbow. D. Ten commandments. You get ten seconds. That's C. The correct answer was a rainbow. Genesis chapter 9, verse 13. After the flood, God promised never to destroy the earth again by water and established the rainbow as a symbol of that covenant, a beautiful reminder of divine mercy and the enduring pact between God and humanity. Question 5. What was the name of Isaac's wife? A. Rebecca B. Leah C. Rachel D. Sarah. You get 10 seconds.
That's A. The correct answer was Rebecca. Genesis chapter 24, verse 67. The marriage between Isaac and Rebekah was significant not only on a personal level, but also within the larger context of God's covenant with Abraham. Rebekah became a key figure in the unfolding narrative of the patriarchs, and her story played a crucial role in the lineage leading to the twelve tribes of Israel. Question 6. Who was the king of Salem that blessed Abram? A. David B. Solomon C. Melchizedek D. Nebuchadnezzar You get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was Melchizedek. Genesis chapter 14, verses 18 to 20. Melchizedek appears as a mysterious and righteous figure. His blessing of Abram is significant, recognizing the authority and favor bestowed upon Abram by God Most High. Melchizedek's dual role as both a king and a priest foreshadows the concept of Christ's priesthood in the New Testament. Question 7. Who was the father of King David? A. Solomon B. Saul C. Samuel D. Jesse You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was Jesse. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 12. This verse directly confirms that Jesse is the father of David. This information is crucial in understanding the familial background of David and his connection to Bethlehem Judah, setting the stage for his rise from shepherd to becoming the renowned king of Israel. Question 8. What did Jacob steal from his brother Esau? A. His birthright. B. His clothes. C. His house. D. His cattle. You get 10 seconds. That's A. The correct answer was his birthright. Genesis chapter 25, verse 31, and Genesis chapter 27, verse 36, Jacob's actions involve strategic planning and taking advantage of Esau's vulnerability, resulting in both the acquisition of the birthright and the blessing. This deceit triggers tension and familial discord, illustrating the consequences of manipulation and the complexities within the family of Isaac and Rebekah. Question 9. Who was the mother of Samuel? A. Rebecca. B. Rachel. C. Leah. D. Hannah. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was Hannah. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 20. Hannah fervently prayed for a child. Her fervent prayer for a child, answered by God, resulted in the birth of Samuel, a significant prophet and judge in Israelite history. Hannah's story reflects faith, perseverance, and the fulfillment of her vow to dedicate her son to God's service. Question 10. In which book is the story of David and Goliath? A. 1 Samuel B. Numbers C. Leviticus D. Exodus You get 10 seconds.
That's A. The correct answer was 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 1. This well-known narrative showcases the courage and faith of the young shepherd David as he defeats the giant Goliath, illustrating the triumph of faith and the power of God over seemingly insurmountable challenges. Question 11. Which prophet confronted King Ahab and Jezebel? A. Elisha B. Isaiah C. Jeremiah D. Elijah You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was Elijah. 1 Kings chapter 18 verses 17 to 18. Elijah boldly challenged the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, demonstrating God's supremacy. His confrontation with Ahab and Jezebel addressed idolatry and marked a significant moment of divine intervention in Israel's history. Question 12. Which book comes immediately after the Pentateuch? A. Judges B. Ruth C. Joshua D. 1 Samuel You get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was Joshua. Joshua, chapter 1, verses 1 to 2. This transition marks the leadership shift from Moses to Joshua as the Israelites enter the Promised Land. The book of Joshua details the conquest of Canaan and the allocation of land among the twelve tribes, continuing the narrative from the Pentateuch. Question 13. Who was the prophet that succeeded Elijah? A. Isaiah B. Elisha C. Ezekiel D. Jeremiah You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was Elisha. 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 9 to 15. Elisha asks for a double portion of Elijah's spirit, a symbolic way of expressing his desire for a prominent share of Elijah's prophetic power. The subsequent events, including Elijah's ascent to heaven and Elisha's receipt of Elijah's mantle, mark the official passing of the prophetic mantle from Elijah to Elisha, establishing Elisha as the new prophet. Question 14. Who was the king of Israel known for his wisdom in building the temple in Jerusalem? A. Solomon B. David C. Josiah D. Saul You get 10 seconds. That's A. The correct answer was Solomon. 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 5 to 14. In a dream, God invited Solomon to ask for anything. Solomon, recognizing the weight of leading Israel, requested wisdom to govern justly. Pleased with his humility, God granted not only wisdom but also unparalleled wealth and honor. Additionally, Solomon's reign is marked by prosperity, alliances, and the construction of the Grand Temple in Jerusalem. Question 15. What was the first plague of Egypt? A. Frogs B. Locusts C. Darkness D. Water turned to blood You get 10 seconds.
That's D. The correct answer was, water turned to blood. Exodus chapter 7 verse 20. Following God's command, Moses struck the Nile with his staff, turning its waters into blood. This drastic transformation not only showcased God's authority over nature, but also served as a warning to Pharaoh. This plague was part of a series intended to convince Pharaoh to release the Israelites from slavery. Question 16. What was the name of Moses' sister? A. Deborah B. Miriam C. Ruth D. Zipporah You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was Miriam. Exodus chapter 15, verse 20. Described as a prophet, Miriam played a significant role in the Exodus, leading the Israelite women in a song of praise and worship after the crossing of the Red Sea. Miriam's role highlights the leadership and contributions of women in biblical narratives. Question 17. On what material were the Ten Commandments written? A papyrus b clay c wood d stone you get 10 seconds that's d the correct answer was stone Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. These stone tablets inscribed by the finger of God symbolize the enduring and unchanging nature of God's moral commandments for the Israelites. Question 18. Which two animals did David fight while tending his father's sheep? A. Wolf and lion. B. Lion and bear. C. Bear and snake. D. Lion and Tiger. You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was Lion and Bear. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 34 to 35. While tending his father's sheep, David fought both a lion and a bear, displaying his courage and commitment to protecting the flock. This experience foreshadows David's later triumph over the giant Goliath and underscores his trust in God's strength. Question 19. What city did Joshua and the Israelites march around for seven days, causing its walls to collapse? A. I. B. Canaan C. Jericho D. Bethlehem You get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was Jericho. Joshua chapter 6 verse 20. This miraculous event marked the beginning of the Israelites' conquest of Canaan under Joshua's leadership, illustrating the power of God and his faithfulness to fulfill his promises to the descendants of Abraham. Question 20. Who was the oldest of Noah's three sons? A. Japheth B. Ham C. Shem D. Canaan you get 10 seconds. That's A. The correct answer was Japheth. Genesis chapter 10, verse 21. This genealogical reference in Genesis highlights the descendants of Shem, 
with Japheth mentioned as his older brother. The three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, played key roles in the post-flood repopulation of the earth. Question 21. What type of insect did John the Baptist eat in the desert? A. Bees B. Locusts C. Ants D. Flies You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was locusts. Matthew chapter 3, verse 4. Baptist diet included locusts and wild honey. This unconventional diet reflected his ascetic lifestyle, symbolizing repentance and preparing the way for the Messiah. John's ministry, marked by simplicity and devotion, played a pivotal role in announcing the arrival of Jesus Christ. Question 22. What is the shortest book in the Old Testament? A. Obadiah B. Micah C. Jonah D. Nahum You get 10 seconds. That's A. The correct answer was Obadiah. Obadiah chapter 1 verses 1 to 21. With only one chapter, it contains a prophecy against Edom, emphasizing divine judgment on those who mistreat God's people. Question 23. What did Joseph's brothers do to him out of jealousy? A. Killed him. B. Took his coat. C. Left him in the desert. D. Sold him into slavery. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was, sold him into slavery. Genesis chapter 37, verse 28. This event marked a turning point in Joseph's life, leading him to Egypt and setting the stage for the unfolding of God's plan and Joseph's eventual rise to prominence. Oh wow, what an incredible journey through the scriptures, challenging your knowledge of the Bible. How did you fare? Whether you aced the quiz or discovered something new, Always remember that the Word of God is a boundless source of wonder, just waiting for us to explore. If you enjoyed this quiz, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Let's invite them to embark on this biblical adventure as well. And don't forget to click that subscribe button for more quizzes and profound biblical insights. We highly value your feedback, so please share your score, any questions or suggestions for future quizzes in the comments. Together, we can continue to deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today and may you be blessed on your spiritual journey. Thank you and see you in the next video.